So I am going to make another video, obviously. Um, I've made like three videos today, but the best part is, is you would never know because in every single one of them, I'm wearing something different or I'm sweating or like right now I just got out of the shower and I still need to take my makeup off my one eye. And if you watch my previous video, you'll see that I just had makeup on one eye as well, so I look really weird. But I have to make this because um, I feel like I need to update people about my life and what the hell I'm doing. So let me just um, share a little bit about where I'm at. Um, I recently, I've been stuck because I've been really upset about how I've treated some people, like, in my most recent past, and I'm really hurt because of it, and at first I was in denial, like, I, I literally had no remorse for, like, how I treated this other person, and I did some really horrible things to them, and so for the last six months I've just been kind of, like, punishing myself, just not really living not really thriving or doing anything um, because of how oh, this is comfortable um, because of how badly I feel about how I treated this person so I'm gonna do this um, so anyway I realized I, I had this realization that so like ever since I got sober I've been putting like my sobriety like me being sober, like for the last two years, or the, the the last two years are the first two years um in my life that I've ever been like sober consecutively. So the, I always say I always refer to them like when I'm talking that they're my first two years as a sober adult, as a sober person. So because of like how I've treated people and some things that I've done, like I've done some really great things. Don't get me wrong. But I've kind of had this like thing in the back of my head. My ego has been telling me that you failed as a sober person, that you failed at being sober, that like, oh, great, you're clean. You know, I kept trying to tell myself, hey, at the end of the day, if you can look in the mirror and at least say that you're clean, then that's good enough. And I knew that that wasn't true, that it's not good enough for me because I really care about how I treat other people and I've realized how important it is. So... Um, what, what I, what I've, um, what I did, and this just came to me, is, I mean, I really have been, like, the last week I've, I've been surrendering everything over to God, and I've been putting everything in His hands, and I did that just, like, throughout my day, and I, I mostly did it for my diet, because I was having a real hard time with, like, overeating, and I was like, oh my God, like, I can't do this, like, I'd wake up every day with the intention not to overeat, but I would, and not all day, but just sometimes just part of the day. And when I when I woke up and I started saying, you know what, God, I can't do this alone anymore. Like, I, I can't handle this. I need your help. And I surrender everything to you, my entire day, to you. Like, just, just tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Tell me who to talk to. Tell me where to go. Like, I'll, I'll do anything you want. And since I've been doing that, like, I carry him with me wherever I go. Like, when I'm walking around, I just, I just, like, talk to him, and I think about him, and I can tell you that, like, the, this last week, I've been, has been so much better since I started doing that, and I also had this wake-up call that the, the last, like, all my life when I was using drugs, and all that time that I considered, like, a really, really dark, bad time in my life, that I've, I, I, I had that in like one chunk in my head and then I had this like my sobriety in another chunk and I've been stuck in the last two years that I'm like, like that this is part of like, I've been living the past for, I've been living in the like everything I've done since I've, since I've been sober and, and I realized that I don't have to do that, that the, these last two years, they are in the past, like I can chunk them with the darkness and I can chunk them with the drug use and the denial and, and the alcohol and the sex and the drugs and everything. I can just put it away. And I know that sounds so simple, but it, it was so hard for me to do that because, because I just have never done this before. And um, so whether you've used drugs or not, like this has nothing to do with that. It, what it has to do with is being present. 
and everyone talks about that all the time about awakening and being conscious but if you're overweight if you're if you hate your job if you're broke whatever it is like whatever's happened to you or whatever you've done um whatever you, wherever you come from you can put everything like think of something besides that um that has happened to you that you've gotten over and now I want you to take what you're hanging on to, like your most recent like struggle or thing that's bothering you, and I want you to chunk it with that other shit that you're already over. Um, and, when, and then once I did that, it was like instantaneously, I was like, oh, like, duh, like that's all I had to do. And so it's taken me six months to have that thought, and I've done a lot of work, and I've put a lot of work in, and I've done like a lot of spiritual like reading and stuff, and I've even met my um the woman that I declare as my guru like I went and met her and I saw her speak and I talked to her and like I've, I've been doing so much work on myself like internally but it was just that one thought and sometimes when you're doing like personal development or you're reading or you're working on yourself or you're going to therapy or you're talking to people about your thoughts sometimes it takes like seeing something like you know 14 times before you're you're like, oh, I get that, you know? Like, I used to, like, I've been reading about how to be mindful and how to live in the now for freaking ever. And I used to always say, mindfulness? Like, I can sit there and mindfully eat a box of ice cream sandwiches and, and know exactly what I'm doing and be super mindful about it. But, like, being present in the moment and being mindful is so, it's, it's something you have to practice. You have to practice doing it. And it's not just something you can like say and wake up and say you're going to do it. You have to ask for help and you have to have a support system and you have to have a community and you have to be ready to um, fail and you have to be ready to, to analyze what works for you and make it work in your life. And it's going to be different for everyone. Everyone's journey is going to be different. But I just want, I wanted to share how, how to chunk, that's my new term, how to, how to chunk things um, you know, in the past that, that you don't need anymore. And you can be a completely different person right now. You can, whoever you want to be, you can be it. And once I had that thought, like my, and this is crazy. Like this isn't even, this isn't even from working out or like eating healthier or any of that. Like, I, I mean, I've been doing that for the last six months, but ever since I've done that, I've had so much more energy. I, I cut certain people out of my life. Like I've been dating a lot and I've been going on a lot of dates and I've been seeing different guys and I I don't know what I'm looking for. Like, cause I, I realized that like I had, I stopped doing that because I knew from like the work that I've done that I don't, I don't get my answers that way. You know, I, I don't realize where I need to go in life or like what, what next move I have to make if I'm, if I'm like you know, seeking validation from, from men, like, that's my issue, and so I stopped doing that, and I had this, like, realization, and my, like, soul has just been set on fire, and it's perfect timing, because I'm going to Summit, where I get to meet all of my Beachbody family, and I get a workout, and with all the celebrity trainers, with Shanti, and Tony Horton, and Chalene Johnson, and I don't know if Autumn Calabrese is going to be there, but all the top coaches, my coach, Amy Silverman, um, Chelsea Pearson, Rob Pearson, um, everyone that inspires me, Lindsay Nix. Um, I could name people forever, you know, strengthening friendships that I've made through social media. Just awesome, awesome people. And I'm going to listen. Um, Darren Hardy is going to be speaking there. It's just it's like such an like you can't, it's a priceless. You can't even put a price on what, how trans, how transforming this event is going to be for me. And it's in six or five days. Um, I don't even know what to say, but watch out because when I come back, I'm, I'm going to be even more um, ready to serve and be a better leader and be a better coach. And I'm just so happy that I've, I've been given this opportunity and I don't, like my mission and my passion is to is to help people realize that you can be whoever you want and you don't have you you can put the work in and you can see results and that's with your your mind your body um, 
your relationships with God, with any, with people, with anything. And the cool part about this is that I won this trip. I, I earned this. I didn't win it. I earned this trip by helping enough people. When I first started my business, I dedicated myself to helping only three people a month. And Beachbody rewarded me with a, this amazing opportunity to, to develop myself and really help develop other people and create leaders. So just wanted to get that off my chest. And yeah, so if you have more questions or, I don't know, want to talk, you know where to find me, Alexis Olson Fitness at gmail.com. Yeah. All right. Bye.